Kevin Shepard is on the line now from his home in St. Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands. And we thank you, Kevin, for being with us. It sounds like and looks like it was a fabulous adventure there. You played three seasons in Iran. Uh, what would you say surprised you the most about living and playing there? Um, good night to everyone. Happy New Year to all. Um, you know, one of the biggest uh, surprises that I got playing in Iran was just being around the people, uh, the atmosphere. It was, it was like nothing I heard on the news. You know, you know, you know the problems with Israel and Iran and and America with nuclear weapons and stuff like that. It's, it was totally different. Um, I get to see, you know, real people with real lives, real problems, and I think that was the most surprising. I was, I was not expecting that. Mm. And in fact, as we saw in the documentary in that clip, you became friends with three Iranian women, which is quite unusual there because it's not considered acceptable for the opposite genders to, to show a public friendship like that. How were you able to nurture your friendship with them, and what did you learn from them? Well, I think I got lucky there because uh, one of the ladies was my uh, therapist. And, um, you know, she was able to treat my injuries when I was playing for the team. And I was just searching for somebody who, sp who spoke English. Um, I got lucky because, you know, she spoke a little bit of English, but her best friends, they, they, they spoke better English, and that's how we built a friendship. After that, it was, you know, they, they started showing me um, the culture of Iran, you know, the lifestyles I even got in depth with how they were living, how their problems were, you know, how their one woman is half of a man. And, you know, I, I got to see their pain, and they let me inside of it. And, and you know, uh, it's not as bad as it is as far as being with the girls in Iran. Um, you can't do it in, in, in closed doors, going to rooms and hotels and stuff like that. But openly, you can. You can go to, to um, say, a coffee shop. You can go to the mall, you can go out to eat, and that's what we did, and nobody had a problem with that. We were just seeing some uh, photos of the protest during the 2009 election there in Iran and some of the women there uh, protesting. You were there during that time. How frightening was it for you? And also, uh, how did you see this time period affect your friends there? Well, I must admit, that was the first time that I was actually pretty scared because, you know, a very interesting situation happened with, uh, with my team. Uh, we were staying right on, the, on one of the streets that they protest. And uh, as far as your eye can see, on one side you had uh, the, the military police, which is like Hezbollah. And then on the other side you saw like maybe close to 500,000 people ready to protest. And they were just screaming and chanting. And, and uh, you know, I promise we were driving through that same road. And if somebody would have probably, you know, throw a bottle at the other side, I don't even know what would have happened. I mean, for the first time, I was mm. actually scared. I was like, whoa. I mean, this thing right here is serious. I mean, this thing here could, could blow up any minute. And, um, mm. you know, that's, that's, that's when reality really hits. Because, you know, as an athlete, you don't really get into politics as much. And you don't really pay too much attention about what else is going on, going on around you because all you do is just go play basketball and do your job. But in, in Iran, it was, it was totally different because it was, it was affecting the teammates. It was affecting um, the relationship with the girls. It was affecting, um, it was affecting how we play. And uh, you could just see it on the faces of, of my players and my coaches. So it was visible. Mm. Well, the filming has been finished, and I know the filmmakers are still trying to raise money for post-production, and the goal is to get this documentary out sometime this year. Now, if everything goes as planned and this documentary is released to the public, what is the message that you want the documentary to send out? Um, first of all, I would like to say that um, Till and his wife, um, Sarah, um, I can't say enough about them. They're, they, they're not rich. You know, they give everything they can into this film. We've been filming for a long time. Uh, at one point, Till was in uh, Iran with, with me, and his wife was home pregnant with his second child. And um, um, th th this guy, I mean, he, he is, is he's, he's special to me. We, we, we have a great relationship now because I see what he put into the film. And uh, that passion, because we both was on the same wavelength. What we're trying to accomplish here is that people understand 
that there are real people in Iran that's suffering, that that's going through problems, that that have hardships. I mean, it was so amazing to me. My roommate was from Serbia, and um, he was telling me about the USA Serbian war, and he was 12 years old. And then at the same time, some of the guys on my team was telling me the war about uh, Iran and Iraq. So. I'm actually sitting down soaking in real life situations. You know, we're lucky and blessed because we're in America. We don't get to see and um, feel the effects of war. But one thing we don't discuss is the after effects. What happened to people once these events happen? And I was just so lucky and blessed to be in a situation that I can soak all of this up. And, you know, what I'm hoping that everybody will see from this film is, is, is how people... Um, interact and react and, and you can see real pain and it's not just all about basketball and, and really it's not so much about the government either it, it's no scarring with the American government or the Iranian government it's nothing like that you know politics is something I really try to stay away from but what you will see is what people have to go through especially the women because you know the women in Iran just don't have that same freedom we have in America so hopefully when everybody get an opportunity okay. to see this film I hope that um, um, you'll be able to get a different understanding and perspective. Sure. Of what, uh, the it Iran sounds like it's a really real. Uh, it sounds like it's a real eye opener, Kevin, and we hope the documentary does in fact get out. Uh, Kevin Shepard, a professional basketball player, joining us from Saint Croix in the U.S. Virgin Islands about his experience and this documentary that was filmed in Iran.